so guys a is seven construction contract cqs okay so here what i have given they have given that xyz agrees to construct a building on behalf of its clients jh limited right on uh, 1st april 20 x1 and then they have also given that the expected completion time is 3 years so 3 years the uh, you know the time when they have agreed is on 1st april 20 x1 and uh, xy limited incurred a cost of rupees 30 lakh up to 31st march 20 x2 in the sense uh, until uh, one year they have incurred the cost of rupees 30 lakh and it is expected that additional cost of 90 lakh rupees uh, in the sense uh, they have already incurred 30 lakh so now to complete the whole project they are assuming that again additional 90 lakh rupees is required in the sense total how much total is 120 okay so they are thinking like to complete the whole project we are to construct a building they need 120 lakh and total contract value is 112 lakh uh, even though the uh, you know the amount which is required to complete the project is 120 lakh the total contract value is just 112 lakh here there is a loss how much 112 minus 120 that is 8 lakh okay has at 31st March 20x2 XY limited has built GH limited for 42 lakh as per the agreement uh, at the end of one first year they have built GH limited the client of uh, rupees 42 lakh as per the agreement now assume that the work is completed to the extent of 75 percent by the end of year two in the sense until second year 75 percent of the work has been completed assume like that okay this is what they have given and in the first question they have asked it what is the revenue to be recognized by xy limited for the contract oh, sorry for the year ended 31st march 20x2 now uh, up to the end of first year what is the amount of revenue to be recognized this is the question right so so when does the contract begins on 1st april 20x1 and at the end of first year that is 31st 3 uh, 20x2 so the cost incurred in between this one year is how much 30 lakh and they are expecting the further additional cost required to complete the whole project is 90 lakh so what is the total uh, cost to be incur you know like we are going to incur to complete the whole project as per our assumption it is already 30 lakh plus 90 lakh which is 120 lakh right but what is the total contract value which the contractee has been agreed to pay to the contractor that is GH has agreed to pay to us that is total contract value is 112 that is given in the question right uh, and now they are asking how much revenue should be recognized until this time that is up to the end of first year so that is first year that is c total contract uh, total cost uh, we have incurred until first year is 30 lakh but the total is 120 lakh into 100 so that comes out to be 25 percent right so in this total contract value or uh, revenue is in the income which we, which we gonna receive from the contractee right so as per our assumption total is 120 lakh in that we have incurred 30 lakh up to the end of first year so 30 lakh upon 120 into 100 so 25 percent of the work is completed as per our assumptions as per contractor okay so now in the amount which we're gonna receive from contractee that is from gh limited that is 120 uh sorry 112 lakh into 25 percent of the work has been completed so 25 percent of uh 112 lakh which comes out to be 28 lakh right so the revenue to be recognized uh in the year 31st 320 x2 is 28 lakh got it first one so for question number one option a is the right answer and the second question is total expense to be recognized in the year one so until year what is the expense we have incurred that is the uh, you know which we need to uh, you know identify right so here the total cost required to complete the project is 120 lakh this is the amount to required to complete uh, the construction of the building but the amount they have agreed to pay us is only 112 lakh so what is the loss for us over here that is 120 minus 112 that is 8 lakh this is a loss for us right so now let's create a simple p and l account okay 
so here we have already incurred how much in pnl we going to always write the expenses over here and income uh, upon credit side right so debit all the expense credit all the um incomes and gains right so what is the expense we have incurred until uh, year 1 that is 30 lakh so that is the cost which we have already incurred is 30 lakh right and uh what is the revenue which we going to receive from this we have already calculated for the first question that is 28 lakh so the income which we going to receive from this is 28 lakh and there is also a loss of 8 lakh which we will never going to receive right so uh there is a net loss how much 8 lakh and now uh in as per as 7 provisions if we don't receive that amount and it is if it is considered as a loss then it should be recognized as an expense right so for this year provision for loss how much that comes out to be 6 lakh the difference right so now uh so as per a uh, seven provision if we don't receive that amount and if it is a loss then we need to recognize it as a expense right so here uh, the total amount which comes out is 36 lakh 36 lakh right so uh option d is the correct answer that is 36 lakh because this is the expense we have incurred until first year and this is a loss so loss if we don't get then recognize it as expense as per as 7 provision so this comes out to be 36 lakh and what does the question 3 says it is revenue to be recognized for year 2 is so the answer is option number c 56 lakh how how in the sense they have already given in the question that 75% of the work is completed uh, up to the end of second year right so 75% of uh, contract value uh, 112 is into 75% that comes out to be 84 lakh but we have already recognized how much of the amount in the first year uh, see that is 28 lakh right so 84 lakh Minus twenty eight lakh, which comes out to be fifty six lakh. So only fifty six lakh has to be recognized as on revenue because already twenty eight lakh is a first year's revenue, right? So for second year only fifty six fifty six lakh. Okay.